ओके सो हाई इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स इवनिंग एवरीबडी बच्चे इवनिंग एवरीबडी आई गेस वी नो इच दू प्रेडी वेल आई एम डॉक्टर सुशांत सोनी एम बी बी एस मैम सी एम डी पैथोलॉजी रेजिडेंट हिमाटोनकोलॉजी एम्स दिल्ली एंड टूडे वॉज अवर आई एन आई एग्जाम आई मीन ऑल ऑफ अस नो दिस वेल एंड दिवाली ना थोड़ा सा उन्होंने पहले फोड़ा है बॉम्ब आई एल से सो बिकॉज बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद द पैथोलॉजी रिकॉल लेट एस क्विकली हैव अ लुक एट ओवर व्यू ऑफ द पेपर फॉर द जूनियर्स ऑल्सो now the paper was divided into four sets i am sure that all of you who gave the paper as well as the juniors know this now hi evening vipesh evening dost now the problem becomes that in set 1 anatomy bhar bhar ke tha there was lot of anatomy questions which were lengthy also so majority of the students had slight issues in completing the set 1 set 2 and 3 were absolutely okay that is path pharma micro medicine and for that matter surgery also was sort of doable these were doable though the questions were tricky but at least they were not as mind boggling as anatomy there were a lot of anatomy as well as pharma questions dekho bachche what we are seeing in the previous papers is the examiner gives undue importance two few subjects as compared to others so anatomy and pharma i know total set ho gaya tha so anatomy and pharma were slightly more the fourth set had slight factual questions and there were about 50 images in the whole paper so this was the overview of the paper firstly the paper was doable and the bottom line or the carry home messages we can under no circumstance underestimate the first and the second year subjects they are the ones which actually you know jaise hum bolte hain hindi mein ki naiya paar karayenge so let us start let us start with our pathology recall now starting with our first question is hum fada fad se dekhte hain match the following with respect to the options you very well know jack 2 v617f mutation is seen in pv it is seen in pv polycythemia vera pv etpmf most commonly seen in pv that is jack 2 alk mutations are associated with adenocarcinoma lung most common with adenocarcinoma lung is egfr alk adenocarcinoma lung c kit with just versus keras that is pancreatic neoplasms next transferrin saturation is reduced in see some of the questions with respect to pathology were extremely straight forward and easy you know that transferrin hi evening man evening bache you very well know that transferrin saturation is reduced in are in deficiency anemia in case uh, few of my questions have slightly different language or any additional option is there do not hesitate to tell me this right now we'll take care of it next sickle cell as compared to normal rbc has examiner here is talking about osmotic fragility and mechanical fragility dekho bachche two terms were used i always find it easier ki you first think of the answer and then go to the options sickle cell anemia has reduced osmotic fragility because sickle cell is a dehydrated rbc first water enters it becomes normal then water enters it undergoes hemolysis it has reduced osmotic fragility with increased mechanical fragility that is why it is a hemolytic anemia so the answer was four the answer was four next which of the following is found in the image given now i was told that this was the exact image which was given to you in the exam and the minute i see this image i am clearly able to see the presence of multinucleated giant cells having a horseshoe shaped appearance that is these are langhans giant cells associated with tb i am not even interested in telling you that these are the granulomas in the background all these are the granulomas so it was a case of tuberculosis which of the following is the cytokine associated tb will be associated with chronic cytokines that is interleukin 2 interleukin 12 and interferon gamma this was tb next question now you will be able to answer both these questions just on the basis of bulla which is seen you are clearly able to make out that this is the bulla which is supra basal in location it is a supra basal bulla that is pemphigus vulgaris it was a supra basal bulla let us have a quick look at the types of bulla supra basal bulla it is present above the basal layer as is seen in pemphigus vulgaris this was the image that was given in the paper next is the presence of a subcorneal bulla below the corneal layer seen in pemphigus fallacious and lastly is the subepidermal bulla 
which is seen in bullous pemphigoid or dermatitis herpetiformis. So there are three main types of bullous lesions. Suprabasal, subcordial. Suprabasal was this one that was given in the paper. You had a basal layer above which there was presence of a bulla, pemphigus vulgaris. Next is the subcornial bulla, pemphigus fallacious, and lastly is subepidermal. Hi, evening friends, and uh, for everybody, please do keep on telling me the answers that you marked or any particular question which you found to be slightly tougher. Do tell me because still now all the questions that I have covered are sort of simple and okay. We have had two controversial questions in pathology, we'll see that. What do you see in this image? This is that of direct immunofluorescence and which is, this is a direct immunofluorescence of dermatitis herpetiformis. This is the IgA mediated picture which is which we see at the dermal epidermal junction, IgA deposit seen in dermatitis herpetiformis. This was not fishnet. All of us know that fishnet pattern looks like this. That is fishnet is seen in pemphigus. This is a prospective neat PG question. This is what fishnet pattern looks like. This was direct immunofluorescence dermatitis herpetiformis. Next question, straightforward again. Uh, 30 female on a strict vegetarian diet has low hemoglobin, MCV is high. The minute the examiner is talking of a vegetarian, that means he is pointing you towards vitamin B12 deficiency, megaloblastic anemia. B12 deficiency, megaloblastic anemia. Next, now this was tricky. Patient comes with nephrotic syndrome. His creatinine was 4.25. Which of the following is true? FSGS cannot be diagnosed with biopsy alone. It can be diagnosed. So this is false. If hematuria is there, then it is suggestive of hematoma. This is obviously out. We had confusion between option B and C. 24 hour observation after renal biopsy. Now there are two thought processes. Some articles say that an 8 hour observation period is sufficient to be extended to 24 hours if there is history of flank pain or hematuria. Whereas few articles say that 24 hour observation period after renal biopsy is a must. So I will put plus minus on option B. Now let us have a look at C. Renal biopsy must be done in amyloidosis. No, no, this is false. It depends upon the type of amyloidosis. And if it is limited to kidney or if you are looking for prognosis, then it is a must, not otherwise. So the answer was B. Best answer in this case was B. Next point. Next is Anugya Bache. If there is any change in the options, please do tell me. I know this, the recall with respect to this uh, was slightly tougher. We had a group of students who gave the paper and we did the recall with them. In case there is uh, any difference in options, tell me right now. Next, cystic fibrosis, CFTR gene mutation associated with increased chloride transport in sweat. Most common presentation is salty sweat. Most common being salty sweat, which is detected by kissing in children. That is, it is a disease of infancy and childhood. Next, this was the exact recent NEAT PG previous year question also. HPV vaccine is by the structural proteins, that is L1, versus carcinogenesis. Carcinogenesis is by early proteins. HPV, cervical pap smears. There were two questions on pap smear in your this INI exam. We'll have a look at that. First was HPV vaccine. It is made from L1. Versus carcinogenesis is by E2. When integration of viral DNA with host genome occurs, E2 increases as a result of which E6 and E7 increase. Increase in E6 and E7 inhibits P53 and RB gene. E2 reduces, so E6 and E7 increases. Next, there was increase in sweat chloride and decrease in pancreatic secretions. Okay, so there was increase in sweat chloride with decrease in pancreatic secretions. Decrease in pancreatic chloride. Perfect. Both. Anugya agreed, Bache. Because you know that in sweat ducts, CFTR, there are two proteins associated with cystic fibrosis, CFTR protein and ENAC. The function of both reduce. As a result, there is increased sodium and chloride in sweat ducts. Opposite role. Opposite role in pancreas. In pancreas, sodium and chloride are increasing in the cell. This was cystic fibrosis. Next question. Seminoma, the marker is. 
now there was actually a lot of confusion with respect to options in this whether it was a multiple option 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 and so on so oct plap and nanog are the seminoma markers these are the seminoma markers if i have to choose one out of these the best answer was plap we do not consider hcg as a seminoma marker though it can be seen in less than 15% cases of seminoma but we do we will not be marking it as a seminoma marker so the answer was 1 2 and 4 it is not hcg next now in this case preservative for light blue while aim is glucose estimation but when we talk of glucose estimation we do not use a light blue while and no image was there i don't know why the examiner wrote it as light blue while i cannot explain that glucose estimation is performed by gray top this is the gray top where potassium oxalate is the anticoagulant used we have sodium fluoride in it also but it is to inhibit glycolysis so answer was potassium oxalate next question hbs antigen negative anti hbs antibody negative only anti hbc antibody was positive the minute hbs antigen is negative now think of it yourself the minute hbs antigen is negative chronic or acute hepatitis as options are fully out the minute anti hbs antibody is negative vaccinated individual is out so what was left was the last option now again whether window period was given in the options or not or some people said that it was a uh, healed in healed period or something like that some other word was mentioned that is the answer if window period was given that is the best answer presence of igm anti hbc antibody next question now inheritance was given to you it was match the following cystic fibrosis autosomal recessive duquesne muscular dystrophy x linked recessive Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy, Mendelian inheritance versus myotonica dystrophica, that is autosomal dominant. This was the match the following questions. Next, again a simple straightforward question. Now with respect to pathology, actually the questions other than two they were simple and straightforward. That glucose thing was slightly dicey. Luminal A is ER positive, HER2 negative, low proliferative breast cancer. this is the most common best prognosis you know this extremely well most common best prognosis versus er positive hertunu negative high proliferative is luminal b this is the one which is associated with burka2 which familial gene mutations burka2 gene mutation so the answer plain and simple was a triple negative is burka1 gene mutations next window period was in the option perfect so if window period was there in that uh, liver wala question then the answer simple straightforward becomes window period next question basal cell carcinoma image was given to you so i want actually you to tell me whether it was exactly this image or something else was given so what we see here this is the normal stratified squamous epithelium which is showing the presence of a tumor with peripheral arrangement of basaloid cells the cells are basaloid with peripheral palisading of the nuclei along with presence of a clear white retraction cleft this is retraction cleft associated with basal cell carcinoma done bache absolutely and absolutely done acha we have three more questions next is protein electrophoresis it was a written mcq we do not have the proper recall of the same but what i was told was albumin was reduced along with reduced globulins along with reduced globulins if you can give me it was a skin lesion of bcc basal cell carcinoma agreed now protein electrophoresis if you can give me the recall beta 2 globulins were increased this was the question that was recalled as nephrotic syndrome in nephrotic syndrome obviously it is associated with hypoalbuminemia hypogamma globulinemia with increased beta 2 globulins that was nephrotic acha another question that was asked was with respect to renkes crystals renkes crystals if the question was it is associated with which of the following tumors it is seen in ledig cell tumor of the testis ledig cell tumor of the testis next so protein electrophoresis was an image given or was it a written mcq i mean i'll be very glad if you can tell me the written mcq in this 
एल्ब्यूमिन अल्फा टू ग्लोबलिन एंड गामा ग्लोबलिन आर रिड्यूस्ड एक बार टेल मी बच्चे कि उसमें क्या रिड्यूस एंड इंक्रीज लिखा था एंड आई टेक केयर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन डन सो ऑन दिस नोट See, there is absolutely no doubt about this. It, an image was given. Actually, and again, there was lot of difference. Ki whether protein electrophoresis image was given, it was not. I don't know. So we'll come back to that question with the. Uh, I know some majority told me it was a written MCQ. Majority told me that only. But one thing is certain that we are in this journey together. There is absolutely no doubt about it. the purpose of the recall is not to give you any anxiety or something it is just to tell you that these are the answers and much more importantly these are the topics topics are always repeated you had questions from sickle cell sickle cell anemia recent neat pg topic also the topics are repeated you had three questions from dengue two questions from acid base imbalance there were two questions from sickle cell anemia one sickle cell anemia question i have catered to that uh, reduced osmotic fragility increased mechanical uh, fragility reduced of increased mechanical fragility and the next was uh, wish therapy hydroxyurea and methotrexate so the topics are repeated so have needless to say bestest of luck for this paper and let's hope for the best take care